Some women like to surprise the men in their lives by taking boudoir photos. But what do you do when you break up? This woman did not want her ex-husband to have the photos of her, so they're duking it out in court. It's called boudoir photography. Perfect. You strike intimate poses for the camera in silky lingerie or even nude and share the photos with your husband or boyfriend. But this woman finds herself in a bruising court battle with her ex-husband over boudoir photos. Lindsay Marsh posed for the photos as a gift to her husband when they were still happily married. Images of me that are of nudity, um, of me in lingerie. But as happens with lots of couples, their marriage crumbled and Lindsay filed for divorce. Then came a move she says shocked her. Her ex demanded she hand over four photo albums and all those sexy intimate boudoir photographs. I was like, this is really bizarre and odd and inappropriate. That is my body. That is my property. It belongs to nobody else. The ex has now backed off, saying he'd settle for the romantic notes Lindsay wrote in the albums, such as love is not about how much you say I love you, but how much you prove that it's true. Mr. Marsh is not asking for any pornographic or nude photographs, not at all. I mean, his main focus was the inscriptions, not the photographs. A lot of these inscriptions are written over the photographs. They're things that a husband or a wife wrote to her husband. Like, you know, they're intimate, they're personal. And he knows that. And he knows I wouldn't want him to have those. The divorce judge has now ruled that Lindsay can edit the photos, covering up all the intimate images. This is what they looked like when she handed them over. I still felt like it was inappropriate. L.A. photographer Krista Miola, who has been following the case, specializes in boudoir photos. I was very surprised that a judge ruled in that way. I don't think any woman judge would have ever ruled that way. As for the originals? Oh, there's going to be a burning party. I'm going to burn them. <laughs> but not yet. Miss Marsh has been ordered to keep the photos until December in case her ex objects to the alterations.